These two bears are orphans. Their mothers were both killed in road accidents. They probably wouldn't have survived had it not been for Ivan Pavenka. He runs a rescue center for orphaned bears in the village of Kuturevo. He currently has six young bears living here, and the center is attracting more and more visitors. Bears have a charisma that other animals just don't have. Ivan was a social worker in Germany for decades. Now he's retired and back in his homeland. This is a bear sanctuary for bear cubs who have been found without their mothers, abandoned or orphaned. In the past, they would have just been shot or left to their own devices. But now they can be brought here to be pepped up again. Looking after the bears is a big responsibility because once they get used to being with humans, they can't be put back into the wild. Roads are the biggest threat to the bears who roam free in Croatia's forests. This nighttime footage was shot by an automatic surveillance camera. The next morning, a few kilometers away, a dead bear was found in a pool of blood. Croatia's top bear specialist, Professor Juro Huber, is called in to investigate. He introduced these green bridges, 11 in all. They're designed to be used by bears, wolves, and lynx, and are positioned in the places where wild animals have most frequently been seen on the roads. But Huber has to prove that the 8 million euro project is worth it. So he's installed a monitoring device. It shows that the bridge has been crossed 1,615 times. Statistically, 10% of those crossings were made by bears, as the cameras show. Huber smooths out the gravel on the bridge so that when the bears cross, it leaves visible tracks. Currently, there are between 800 and 1,000 wild bears in Croatia, an ideal number, says Huber, and he doesn't mind if bears who cause problems are culled. The management should make sure that the number stays in this range, so it doesn't go down, but also it should not go further up, because the number of problems will go very much, and if there will be too much problems with bears, and the people will start hating them, which is not the case now, but it can easily happen. And then if the people don't want to have bears around anymore, then it would be a real problem for future. Huber received a call from this hotel after a staff member went out in the morning and found unusual tracks around the garbage containers. The bear tried to get the lid off. The paw mark suggest it wasn't an adult. A few days ago, one of the hotel workers caught the bear on camera. Jiro Huber advises the hotel to buy bear-proof garbage containers. It's important that the bears don't see the villages as a source of food in the winter. They're generally afraid of humans and so normally stay in the forest. Only the forester is generally guaranteed a sighting of the bears. He's set up a feeding station, part of the official bear management program. These feeding points are designed to keep the bears in the forest even when there's not much food around, as is the case starting in the autumn. Today, apples and sweet corn are on the menu. Back in Kutarevo, Ivan Pavenka says he's always happy to spot a bear in the distance. Seeing a bear in the wild is supposed to bring good luck. Ivan believes human beings have pursued and marginalized bears for too long. I think it's time for us humans to pay back a part of the debt we owe the bears. We can pay it back in this way. Ivan believes it's important to lend a helping hand. 
A bear's life is not an easy one, even in bear-friendly Croatia.